Well, you've probably by now heard the news, seen the images. Well, if you're living in Alberta, you're living it. Yes, you felt it. <laughs> you sure did. Winter has come early there, and that brings us to the great Canadian debate. Here is Carl Nadeau. He joins us this morning to weigh in on the topic. Uh, Carl, good morning. Good to see you as always. Good to see you again. Okay, let's talk about this uh, debate first off if we can. Some say there really is no debate, but uh, when it comes to, you know, winter tires, all season summer tires, are winter tires, are they absolutely necessary? Actually, there is a debate. Do you want to be safe or not? Because winter tire makes a difference. First of all, the rubber compound stays flexible when the weather is uh, below a uh, freezing point. So the colder it, it gets, the harder the compound of an all season or summer, uh, summer tire will be. So you're going to lose drivability on snow, ice, and even dry asphalt when it's cold. So it's, it's a big difference. Okay, what about cars with four wheel drive or all wheel drive? A lot of people think four-wheel drive means safety but it's actually a heavier vehicle so it's harder to stop when you don't have grip and the brakes of the car stop the wheel but what stops the vehicle is actually the tire grip so if you don't have the right tire and they turn into a hockey, a hockey puck or chewing gum when it's cold you're never gonna stop so it's gonna make the car harder to turn to steer and to avoid a bad situation so all-wheel drive require four high quality winter tires all right let's get into it here what do we need if grip is so important what do we need when it comes to winter tire what should we be looking for well I hate compromise so you need a high quality winter tire so you're not gonna have any compromise uh, you need high quality you need low rolling resistance of course you need grip in every possible condition my choice is the excise snow from from Michelin and it's made in, in Canada in Nova Scotia so 90% of the tires sold in North America are from Nova Scotia some people will need studded tires because they have a cottage up north and it's like pure ice like there's a thick of ice so the Michelin Excise Nord 4 would be perfect and sportier driver might like the Alpine 5 so it depends of how you are but my choice is the Excise Snow. What about EVs, electric vehicles? Well EVs are heavier which is normal with the weight of the battery, but they also produce tremendous torque. So it's very, very hard for a tire. So you need a strong tire that can withstand uh, what, what the EV cars are gonna give. There's also the range, like in the winter, an EV car will lose 20, 30% of range. So if you have a tire that has a lot of resistance, it's gonna make it worse. So you need a tire with low rolling resistance and EVs mean silent, there's no engine noise. So you hear the tires a lot more. Right. So you need a quiet tire to have a good driving experience. All right, and I also know with EVs it's instant torque and that can wear on the tires a little more quickly. Yeah. So let's also talk about wear when it comes to winter tires. Usually there's no warranty on wear in winter, especially with EV cars. With Michelin you get 60,000 kilometers of wear warranty, which is not seen in the in the market so you need a tire that can withstand those charges it's very very hard the instant torque and of course when you're trying to brake or steer the vehicle if it's heavy it requires more from the tire so can i know exactly. visually though whether or not my winter tires need replacing because i think a lot of people are probably going into the garage in the next couple of weeks and uh, thinking about putting their winter tires on can you see yeah if definitely you need to replace them? Uh, well if, if you're scared and you don't want to do it yourself, you can go to your local garage, they're going to look at it for you. But it's very easy to go in the, the, the tread. There's gaps between the tread block. You can just take a 25 cents head of the queen upside down and you put it in, in the, the, the place where the tread seems to be more limited. If you see the queen's crown, it's really bad. You need to replace. If you see her forehead, you're getting close to replace the tires. It's a great test. Yes. It's easy to do. Yeah. Just make sure you take the quarter out after. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> or you're going to need to replace that tire regardless. All right. Yeah, keep the quarter. <laughs> <laughs> some timely advice, Carl. Thank you so much. And some great information as the winter driving season approaches. Thank you. Thank you. Absolute pleasure. All right. This portion of the morning show is brought to you by Michelin.